Hey, what's up, Scott Balkan here with Imagination Creation Films, and today we're talking about product lighting and how you take a boring flat shot and turn it into this. So if you haven't been following this channel for a while, then, well, you may not know that we love to dabble in all things filmmaking. And you know, it'd be a great time for you to go ahead and click subscribe, I mean, and the little alert bell, because I do live streams now. Yep, that stuff's coming back. So it'd be great for you to join us. But one of the things we love to talk about on this channel is lighting. And one of my favorite methods of lighting is product lighting. I love working with products. I love, well, products never talk back, so it's it makes it really easy. But Products are great, and lighting products is an art form, and it's a lot of fun to play with. Uh, so what we're gonna do is literally take a simple product and try to create some type of depth and some emotion in that lighting without going too far, all while channeling it and making that product look its best. So if we jump right on here, you can see it is just an ARP 2600 clone from Behringer. And it's uh, it's got a lot of like little trinkets and switches and levers and all that. And all of that is it's interesting. It, it, it has its own depth. But our typical lighting that we would do, we would start with is an overhead light and a really big, soft overhead light. Now, what I've done here is I've done a four by four on a uh, half grid and I've got it up behind the actual product at a slight angle. And then we have a Nova P300C from Aperture that we have got behind it, and we're just blasting out some nice, clean, soft daylight into it. Now, because this light is bouncing all over the place, we've got some duvetine wrapped around the back, and we've got it coming down, blocking the um, the spill from the background. The background is just white seamless. That's what I had available here. Um, and as you notice, you can see how much the duvetine actually is, is stopping that spill. Now, when we do a flat overhead light, well, it gives a a bland look and you can see it's uh, somewhat bland so let's take it to the next level let's add in some depth now how do we add depth to this well we need to create some light that is more contrasty that's popping against the the flat light and giving it some light spots here and there. We could do that with a Kukuloris or a cookie. So a cookie is just simply a piece of paper or a piece of wood that you've cut shapes out of, or sometimes it can be metal, or they could be purposely built. Mine is a piece of old seamless paper that I cut about six years ago, and I like the cookie so much I've kept it, and I just shine through it. So we're going to blast a 600D with the F10 Fresnel through the cookie and all of a sudden we get this. Now, this is a very, very contrasty, very, oh, emotional image. It's, it has too much depth. It, it is moody, beyond moody. So if we add in the flat light to it, now you see both, but you don't know you see both. Here's an example. Take out the cookie, put the cookie back in. All of a sudden, you've got a depth to that already boring flat image from the overhead light. Now, we need to separate the background. Now, the background is kind of boring and bland. It's just white seamless. So let's stick a Aperture B7C, the little screw-in light bulb, into one of those simple reflectors from Home Depot. And we'll point it at the background and boom, voila. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. You can get colors. You can go all color, all types of colors in there. Let's just flip those around and, and see what we can get. Oh, that's that's nice. You can you can you can do anything with the colors in the background, and that also helps set the mood. One of the things that we had to do here was we had to, in the front of it, there was green spill coming from my green screen on the bottom. 
And so we just put a flag there to block out any light and we're blocking off light everywhere else just to keep it from kind of spilling everywhere. As you can see, there's a whole lot you can do with just three lights. That's all we're running here. And it's amazing the depth that you can get from a simple product shot. Now, this is not this is not God's gift to product photography or, or, or lighting, but it does show you just how adding little things can make a huge difference and help make your products pop. What do you think of the lighting? What would you do differently? What color would you accent in the back? Because I ran that on my Instagram for a while, and it was interesting. It was kind of a tie between magenta and the uh, the orange. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any questions or comments, you can put those in the comment section down below. I try to read and respond to each and every one, even if it's just to say thank you. Uh, remember, you can support me in so many different ways. You can join as a member of this channel, which is going to unlock a bunch of cool things, a lot of behind the scenes, uh, some cool badges and stuff to let everybody else know in live streams that you support this channel. It's a, it's a badge of honor, uh, honestly. It's, 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 it's awesome. Do that. Also, you can use any of my affiliate links down below if you like, or you can use PayPal or Patreon. Any other ways you want to support me, I greatly appreciate it. Um, also, remember to click subscribe and the alert bell because I'm doing live streams again, and you want to be notified when those happen. So that's the best way to do it. And uh, as always, as I like to leave it, don't let your passions center around your life. Let your life center around your passions.